We just did called Bermuda Island. Uh, we shot it in Puerto Rico in November. So it's a suit? Yeah, full body suit, prosthetics. Oh, okay, so can we see your creature shop? Yeah. This is, uh, this is where the magic happens. <laughs> um, we're gearing up right now. We're working on a movie called Devil's Night that we're shooting in Houston in June. So lots of monsters. Oh, I could show you. I made this. Uh, sorry. sorry, I'll bring it in here. This guy is going to play a Cyclops. So this is going to be his eye. We've been working on this for the last couple days. And he can... Here, hold on. Let me wow. do that again. Here. here. So this is going to be for a movie. This is for a movie of... A, this guy's a Cyclops, and that'll be his eyeball. And that's how you do it. Yeah, and so that'll get mounted on his face. And then we'll actually sculpt around the space that that would take up. So it'll build into the actual creature suit. Well, that's amazing. Yeah. While he's back here working on a pair of wings, these are going to be uh, for this creature called the Bone Devil. And they, uh, they'll they be fully functional and they'll open and flap and, you know. So cool. And that's how you're doing the wings? Yeah, so we're working on a prototype right now, and once we have it nailed down, we'll reproduce them correctly without, you know, mistakes and stuff. But uh, this is our prototype. And they'll hook to a back plate, which is going to be this, um, that'll, that'll mount underneath their creature suit, so only the wings will pop out. You, you know what's like, what people don't understand, I mean, I understand a little bit, but... Uh, like when you look at these like uh, materials you're using, this stuff like right from Home Depot. Sure. And a lot of people don't even understand, like it's not that complicated. Not that complicated. Keeping but, it simple is really the answer. Because in Hollywood, what I think a lot of people, even the sets, they're just made to shoot on. Yeah. They're not going to last very long. Most of them don't. I mean, it's like those faux bricks in there. And, and like, they're, we, they're, we like, just did tons of foam like dungeon walls. And it, if you mess with it it would fall apart it's not concrete it's foam you know? yeah and it's for like a haunted house you need something to last over and over and yeah, over yeah. again but for a movie you just need it to be like a hero shot once yeah. twice and then it goes in the trash yep and or then people here. or a person like you here. collects it right it, yeah. <laughs> is, uh, this is how we cook all our foam latex oh dude like i love foam latex mass it's all just cooked in in there you know wow They're all built from home depot you know let's uh I love foam latex. Our actors actually will wear them. All these are foam. That's all foam latex. And then in here. And look at this. This is crazy. Hold on. This has got me interested here. These are these are like real mixers. But that's how you mix foam latex. Every that, batch, every mask you've ever bought of foam la latex was mixed in a Sunbeam Mix Master. That's what the, all of the mixing instructions are, are geared towards. And then you cook it at 170 degrees, which is why we can build the oven. We don't need a 300 degree kiln. We just 170 degrees. In Las Vegas, you can put it outside, it'll cook, you know, in the sun. But so there's some advantages of being in Las Vegas. Oh yeah, yeah. This is a vacuum form machine we built out of just home items. You know, we got a griddle here and a uh, cookie sheet, but this is how we make, I do all Kane Hodder's costumes for his photo ops. Uh, in the museum, you saw some of the costumes he wears, but this is how I make all of his masks just on this homemade machine instead of purchasing a $10,000 vacuum form machine that's not big enough. Holy cow, you made that yourself. Yeah. Looks like it. you're just like a, you can do almost anything. That's kind of an effects guy. You know, effects guys should be able to do just about anything because I've never made this one-eyed Cyclops that can run around and still be able to emote through that one eyeball before. But when that's the job given to me, I go, yeah, I can do that. And then figure it out. For a makeup guy like yourself, is this a key ingredient? Oh gosh, this is all of my blood, every bit of blood I make. But this isn't necessarily the key ingredient because you can get caro syrup anywhere. The key ingredient is Smart and Final food dye because you cannot get this color red anywhere else. It only Smart and Final has the right actual dye. Here, let me. Uh, so, you're a special effects makeup artist, and making your own blood requires it requires three things you need caro syrup you need caramel colored food dye and you need red food dye and uh, the food dye the most important part you have to get it from smart and final if you don't purchase this first street from smart and final your blood will not look 
as good as it could. And this is, here's an example. I, I can show you some that's already made. Um, and you'll just see that nice, dark, wow. old school Cinema Secrets look. If anybody remembers the Cinema Secrets yeah, book. Yeah, I do. This is it. That's that's how you. And make those it. are the three ingredients. Three ingredients, but the most important ingredient there is that you get your food dye from Smart and Final. You cannot buy crap from the. This Can you get that online? This doesn't work. You cannot use this from the grocery store. It will never look. Where do you get it at? I buy it at Smart and Final, which is most places have a Smart and Final, but if not, you can get it on online, SmartandFinal.com. But that blood color is the perfect consistency, perfect color. Nice. For me, I mean, the other people might prefer something else but that's mine explain to me like why do you have microwaves and you also have a microwave oven no this is a convection oven and this is for cooking in front of the face foam latex okay so I'll, I'd rather use the big oven for a little front of the face I, or a forehead I can put it in here the microwave is for cooking gelatin uh, if we're making gelatin prosthetics we heat it up in the microwave uh, also monster clay when you're working with monster clay uh, you can microwave it to soften it up it's like a wax base mm -hmm. uh, the crock pot is for melting chavant I didn't even know that was a crock clay. pot <laughs> yeah because it's years of covered with and, clay and you do what with it I melt down clay and then I can pour it up like Tara who was working at the front counter this is her head but this is solid clay so I'm going to sculpt her into the Bride of Frankenstein um, and that's that's the face I'm using for the Elsa Lancaster face but this is solid clay, so I can sculpt her eyes open, her mouth open, put the hair on, and then I'll make a mold of it. And, and so tell me, what is in this spray bottle? Because it looks like blood. This is. So this is uh, for set decorating, like in there, uh, just spraying blood on the walls. Oh, can that's you show our, us? Yeah, that's our meat room. Well, it was. We're moving the meat room. But this is just a, you know. So what is it? Your blood and then water down? No, this is just water and food color. Just um, water and food just color? Just water and food color, and that's just how, sometimes I'll mix in some black or brown and just, uh, you know, quick. So it almost looks like blood set, splatter. Quick set decor in a bottle. Yeah, this was a butcher shop in our last year's haunt. So there was body parts hanging everywhere and blood, and this pig guy was, uh, this guy, and he was uh, you were an slamming, actor. slamming yes. people with, uh, <laughs> with uh, meat hammers and stuff. So, uh, Tom, one of the things I noticed when I drove by was this insane hearse, okay? And it has a lot of attention to detail that a lot of people might not notice. You have side exhaust. Of course. You have, like, uh, hubcaps that are like bats. Well, those are actually belt buckles just screwed on. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. And then the coffin is, is a graveyard. Yes. I've never seen that ever. Graveyard, uh, and, and that coffin is actually used. It was a rental from the local Boulder City... Uh, mortuary for people for viewings and he donated it to me and uh, so there's been a lot of dead people enough that they retired it from renting it oh my goodness yeah. and you have creature in black lagoon yeah this is from the side art on the pinball machine you can even see if you look closely you got a pinball right there oh my god Big fan. and you call this the oh, lily yeah this is lily yeah unfortunately uh She's there's been uh, painted uh, three times with rattle cans. And unfortunately, like, there's nobody left from the monsters except for uh, Butch Patrick. Is Butch that about Patrick right? And, uh, and one of the Maryland's is still around, too. Yeah, that's terrible. Fred Gwynn was so good in uh, My Cousin Vinny. My Cousin Vinny, yeah. Yeah, wasn't he? We got a sweet RIP RSVP uh, license plates. And you know what? I noticed, like, uh, that one's got, like, rhinestones oh, on yeah, it. Oh, yeah, that's a uh, blinged out. That's the bling wheel. It's insane. And you have the uh, leopard uh, seat covers. Oh, yeah, the purple, purple leopard print seat covers. Like candy wrapper, you can't have a hearse. Does that without, come with yeah. the the ride? 100%. Now, do you drive this around? I do. Oh, here you can see the back seat. I'm assuming. So oh we, yeah, do you give tours? Yeah, we used to pick people up down at the hotels and bring them up here, and uh, it's a cool experience. The whole thing lights up on the inside like a party bus. It's nuts. There's horror. Did you make it yourself? Yeah, we built all this. I built all this. Here. I'm guessing it was originally white. It was originally. Ugly. <laughs> and now it's purple. That was purple. A little bit more like the monsters. Yeah, a little, just a little fun, uh, goofy monster flair to it, you know. And how I just did you uh, the canvas with the? Uh, how did you attach that? They're drilled through and bolted in. Yeah, and the canvas is just all cracked up and gross, so I painted it. And uh, and it, 
works for us. Well, I have to say, Tom, this is uh, the most insane hearse that I've ever seen because it's just like it, it's like your your B movie, yeah. you know, like yeah. fascination is like rolled out into a hearse. Yes. Over here, I have a '71 Pontiac. And, and you got a Zoltar. Oh yeah, I made that Zoltar actually. Every Zoltar that you've ever seen is made in a building right back there. You oh, make the Zoltars? I do the custom Zoltars and that's a custom Zoltar. It's not nearly And that's uh, Return of the Living Dead. Of course, of course. And here's another hearse. Yeah, this is our uh, 73 Bonneville hearse. It's in rough shape, but... Uh, and it's got pumpkins in the back. Yeah, full, full of pumpkins. Full of pun carved pumpkins, actually. Some of them. And that's my 63. Oh, I want to see that. Yeah, we're working on it right now. That one, to me, is uh, much cooler. That's the creme de la creme. <laughs> that's my newest acquisition. And is this your haunted house, yeah. the Fright Zone? Yep, the Fright Zone is our, our haunt. So where did you pick up this thing? I bought this from the local Boulder City mortician, Tyson Smith. And you know what's nice out here is like it'll never rust. It's got some rust, but it came from North Carolina. And we're well, fighting, that's where it got the rust. We're fighting some rust, but uh, you know, I got it for a good price. Um, it runs, and my dad's been working on it. And, uh... What are these buttons? That's really cool. So this is an ambulance. It used to have a uh, uh, siren on the top, and that's all the controls for the siren and the ambulance. That is so cool. We're actually building a Ghostbuster car out of this. Wow. That is so neat. This place is a mess because you've been to a haunted house on an off season. So. And uh, you have movie theater seats. Yeah. This is our haunt, but it's also our office and my workshop. My, uh, How many square feet is it? This is a 2,000 square foot. This is Topher, he's our videographer. He you making videos? Yeah, he makes videos. He does Do you have like a YouTube page or something? We suck at YouTube, but we use it for advertising on Instagram, and then also we make movies here, so he's right now editing a film that, that we did. You're, it's like a B movie? Yeah. What's it called? Ghoul Creek. Ghoul Creek? Yes, sir. Did you shoot it here in Nevada? That one was shot in LA. And then what, what do you do with them when you make them? Oh, okay. Look for distribution and work your butt off. I sell at conventions a lot too. This is my wife, Lola. You met, this is Larry Kirshner. We met in Transworld. They owns The Darkness and Lent Brewery. Oh, okay, awesome. And we also have another haunt called Creepy World. That wasn't there when I was there. Well, no, we, we just don't open it for Transworld. It's too cold, really, to even get them ready. Yeah. Gallery of Fear. Yeah. Though we had a hell of a time opening this building because it's like a hundred year old building. And so we fought with the fire department for a long time. And then we said, you know what? It's not a haunted house. It's a retail showcase. This is our showroom. Ah. And so we call Are you it into the all this crazy Halloween stuff? I mean, 18 years. <laughs> that's what we've done. Okay, hold on a second. I'm trying to. Is this from Puppet Master as well? Yeah, that's from Blade Darren. That, is that the yeah, real one? Each woman from Puppet Master. And that's from. That's a screen used from Blade Darren Cross. Okay. So I'll be taking that with me. Because <laughs> I have a horror museum, sort of. I've seen pictures. I don't have enough uh, real stuff. Oh. But I do have some stuff from Rick Baker. That's cool. I have a suit from the Haunted Mansion. Oh, Disney's that's Haunted cool. Mansion. One oh, of those. yeah, yeah. And it literally, you can, like, touch the teeth. And, yeah. you know, and it has shoes where it has, like, his feet, you know, like the skeleton feet are above the shoes. That's cool. So you can see the toes. Kayla, where did we get the tiki mugs from? Oh, it's a place called the... Uh, we're going to get to a spot. There's a rhino in this hallway that you can't fit past. Okay, so hey. Uh, I'm going to let you walk through it, but I'll uh, introduce it. So uh, so tell us, like, uh, this is your haunted house. This is the haunted house, the Fright Zone. We are in the off-season, and we're kind of rebuilding right now, so there's a lot of messes. Uh, but you're welcome to take a little peek Well, we'll, we'll just follow you and you can point out some stuff. I noticed you have a lot of pumpkins. Yes, yeah, so there's 265 carved pumpkins in here. Did you carve them? Yeah, well, me and Waleed and my wife and everybody. Holy you know, cow, they're in the ceiling. Yeah, they're everywhere. And I know it's like... They all light up uh, during the season. Everything is lit up. Um, and these guys, they're from Home Depot. They're not anything special, but they add a cool touch. 
Man, this is like you, you feel claustrophobic in here. Oh yeah, yeah. And then uh, hey, you got to use make you uh, the best use of space. This is about as far as we can go here. There's a rhinoceros there that's blocking the. Okay. Well, we're gonna go out and so back normally, around. We can go in the exit, but it was a. Uh, Did you make this vacuum form here? No, these are all foam. Uh, they're just uh, latex with polyfoam behind them. And these are actually my faces, and this is my wife's face. <laughs> there you go. There. So as you're coming this way, this is all like the skulls progress into those melted faces. And then we have this zombie guy was here and he was just... And you have a lot of coffin lids. Yeah, we got, we have our, <laughs> we have a custom uh, coffin channel, I guess. So walking backwards is not as impressive because you see some of the stuff you would not see walking that way, but you know. Yeah, this and this is like an old gag yeah, studios. Yeah, this is prop. gag studios. I have a couple of them because they're partnered with Characters Unlimited, who makes the uh, yeah. Soltar. So when they have a broken one or beat up one, they just donate it to me. This is cool. It's a fireplace. Um, it's just a TV that we play like a fireplace burning skulls and stuff, and it's kind of effective. Has uh has any like uh, major like horror celebrities been to your place? Uh, we had Art the Clown uh, from Terrifier. He walked through last year and he loved it. Um, yeah, we've had quite a few people come through that that were here for the museum. You ever had like Alice Cooper, Rob Zombie? I have stuff? not had Alice Cooper, Rob Zombie. I did make Alice Cooper a, a throne. And uh, he's talked about coming to the Monster Museum, but he hasn't actually been out yet. Yeah, you need to get him to come out. Yeah. And then, uh, so then, on the normal year, you would go out through the pallet maze here. Oh, and you have, uh, Tommy's Toys. Tommy's Toy Box is what, what it used to say. But now and so this is, is just like another this haunt? This become all prop storage now. We're not going to walk people through anymore. This year, I'm going to build a graveyard out here. I'm going to turn this trailer into a mausoleum. I'm going to turn this back of the house. It's going to look like an old Victorian house. So you'll come out through the graveyard. Actually, you'll come through that tunnel. Around the back, we have a chain link like junkyard. And then you'll come through here and then into the building. Awesome. Yeah. And then you have like outside stuff, yeah. I guess. Yeah. And I'll show you back here. This is where we usually do. You, know, you got to have your chainsaw, guys. Um, so we like to cage our chainsaw guy. And we have him hooked up to the batteries. <coughs> So the fence sparks when he hits it with the chainsaw, but it allows that fear that like he can't get to you, you know? You got a so, lot of mopeds. Oh yeah, that's uh, that's the moped junkyard. And I, <laughs> this is all strobe lights and nobody could tell what they are. It just looks like a junkyard. Um, but it is pretty, uh, pretty destroyed right now. Lots of creepy dolls, chainsaws. A little bit of everything. Yeah. Yeah, it's like crazy here. It's like out in the middle of the desert. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want to say out in the middle of nowhere, but it's kind of. Yeah, Boulder City is a small town of 6,000, but it is the home of the Hoover Dam, so we get tourist traffic like nuts. Yeah. So it's uh, especially in the summertime, it's huge. Well, thanks for giving us the tour. Yeah. And uh, and where do they find your haunted house? Like, what's the URL? Uh, we're the Fright Zone, and we really just go through Tom Devlin Monster Museum. And when people go to Las Vegas, they can get here in what? How long? It's about 15 minutes off the Strip, 18 minutes. If you're in an Uber, it'd probably take you about 20, 30 minutes. To get Come out here. and check out the place yeah. and the museum, yep. and uh, play uh, Pac-Man, which I wasn't aware is horror themed. It's got ghosts. Hey, well, you learn something new every day. Thanks a lot. Yeah. All right, so that was uh, probably one of the most entertaining. That was fun. I, this guy knows everything about every movie under the sun. We don't dis we don't agree about which of the best uh, Phantasm, for example, but uh, <laughs> but man, I didn't even know like half the stuff that he was showing us about like how to make masks and yeah. stuff like that so this was a lot of fun so make sure you like and subscribe to the channel because we're doing it for fun we're trying to take you uh, all over the world and see some of the coolest scariest attractions and just cool attractions in general so make sure you like and subscribe and leave a comment and tell us if you like the video until then happy halloween